Well, everybody i greet you in the name of the lord jesus christ you're welcome to my youtube channel i am talking to you about the things that can hinder us from receiving our prayers pray the living god because i need to pray for you my heavenly father i'm calling i'm coming upon your holy throne in the name of jesus christ i'm asking you lord i'm to bless the person who is listening to me and please i'm asking for the holy spirit to touch that person i rebuke the spirits evil spirits the spirits of that hinder people to listen to the word of god the spirit that will distract and in the name of jesus christ and i wanted lord to reveal more about what i'm going to talk about so they will understand in the name of jesus amen i am talking about the things that may hinder our prayers to be answers or we hinder us is that we do not receive our prayer our prayer we do not receive our answers or maybe their prayers delay you know there is two things that can cause that is the prayers you pray and you pray and pray and your prayer has it you do not receive the answer I do also believe that there is two reasons. The first reason it can be that your prayers hasn't been answered because of some issues in your prayers. And another thing it can be that your prayers has been de has delayed. You see? Delay of the prayers. So maybe I have to talk about the issues that can make prayers are not answered why prayers are not answered there are some reasons that prayers cannot be answered in james chapter 4 verse 3 and when you do ask you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may squander it on your pleasures you adulterous races do you not know that friendship with the world don't do you not know that the friendship of the world is hostility towards god so sometimes you pray and you do not answer because you pray with the wrong motive and uh, you know what i'm talking about eh? wrong motives like um, you pray to to satisfy your sinful desires and sometimes it can happen that you do not get what you have been asked for Psalm chapter 60, verse 11. If I had choice in iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. So the Bible is also talking about the is talking about in when you cherish iniquities, you pray for things that are seen full. You can it can be that so make sure that when you pray pray according to the will of god don't pray to satisfy your flesh or don't pray sometimes we pray selfish prayers or we pray something that is you know so maybe you you you, you know selfish prayers yeah be selfish in somehow and in, they are not answered you can cause that your prayers are not answered but it mm -hmm. and this is the confidence that we have before him if we ask anything according to his will he hears according to his will he hears so make sure when you pray to god pray according to his will not to satisfy our sinful behaviors it is the will of God that we succeed. It is the will of God that we prosper. It is the will of God that we we possess things like money, like everything that is good in this world. It is the will of God that we we be, we be healed when we are sick. It is also the will of God that you but sometimes you pray for the for you you know many times you see that many christians struggle 
does not such does not survive i mean they struggle in getting breakthrough or to be you understand that and uh, the reason is even if they pray and you see that the answers are not pray maybe sometimes you think that be because of the curses and the curses those curses can also hinder us from receiving prayers and the curses can be so many I'm going to talk about curses another day. The curses can also be the cause of why we do not get what we want. But also, I do believe that if we are not faithful in giving to God what is His, um, you know that 10% of what we have belongs to God. And if you do not give, maybe it can also cause that our prayers when we pray we do not get what we want in Malachi chapter 9 verse chapter 3 verse 9 to 10 you are cursed with the curse for you are rubbing for me you are rubbing me the whole nation of you bring the full teeth into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and thereby put me to test it say the Lord of hosts if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for your blessings. So we make sure that you give to God what is his so that we are not we we God will open the the doors of blessings to us and sometimes we do not do that we are rubbing God we are we get money and we use all the money for other things and we never give back to God and we end up in cars and the cars can cause so, so there is also other things also can cause you to be in cars and if you're in cars also sometimes it can hinder that your prayers to be answered in Matthew chapter 23 verse 3 what to use or you know that is that some people say that you know this teething is not for us it was not for us Christians it is only for those people uh, of in the Old Testament I just think that Jesus is said that he, he did not come to remove anything from the Torah actually oh, but he, he came to fulfill and it, I think that Jesus did not say that the people shall not teeth any longer because he came even if Jesus was when he was rebuking uh, the Pharisees for hypocrisy for they are teething they are very good in teething but they are not they are not uh, they are not doing justice and mercy and faithfulness they are hypocrites they are only concentrating in teething and the other things that does not mean that he told them that when they were teething they were doing wrong but he told that this you, you have you, without you shall not you shall do that but you shall not neglect the others that means that they are both important teething and justice mercy and faithfulness so if you can understand this you can understand that jesus did not come to take out that the people shall not teeth any longer this is what i i i understand so teething can also be maybe the cause that we do not get we are not succeed in getting what we want but there are some people that can say that I, I give teething, I am teething, I am doing everything, but still I am not getting what I want. So I just want you to make sure that if you are husband, in First Peter chapter 3 verse 7, husbands in the same way treat your wives in consideration as delicate verses and with Hannah as fellow hells and gracious gift of life so that your prayers will be will not be hindered so if you mistreat your wife it can be that you will your prayers also will be hindered from being from being answered so make sure 
that you treat your wife with honor respect your wife i am going to talk about you more about this sins can also hinder that your prayers be heard by god in heaven in according to according to isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 to 2 surely the arm of the lord is not too short to save nor his ears too dull to hear but your iniquities have separated you from god your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear does not hear you scream and scream and scream he does not hear because there is something because of your sins then there is something like a cloud in front of you uh, between you and him so that his face is not does not he does not listen to what you pray for you are living in sins so this can also be it is the same way when the lord says that every tree that does not give good fruits will be cut and put into the fire and uh, this it can also be something like this is that being cut from the presence of god being cut the outside of can also be the reason why you pray and your answer you do not get answers for your prayers so make sure that the presence of god is with you following you everywhere you are under his shadow everywhere you started to seek god in the right way to to be there so that your answer your prayers will be answered because god isn't god can hear you you understand that and his arms are not too short to save you and it all in near due to here but the iniquities can cause that another thing can also be unforgiveness if you are not forgiving other people you are holding resentment against some people this also has been and has been a problem for me in many years in the one day i tried to forgive i tried to forgive and i tried to because there were some people i really i was not not able to forgive and that day i told the lord i forgive these people and i prayed for them and from that day suddenly the parent i got my prayer was answered so it can also happen that maybe it's because that we are holding resentment or against some people and when they're coming to us for forgiveness we are not willing to forgive and because of that god does not hear our prayers because if you can you cannot forgive other people god will not forgive you and when you stand praying if you hold anything against someone forgive him so that your heavenly father may forgive you your sins in mark chapter 11 verse 25 and uh, so this also can be the reason that uh, your uh, your prayer hasn't been answered you know and uh, so it can be also so the devil is also this is something so the delaying of prayers why your prayers are being delayed this will be to the next topic this will be to the next video may god be, be with you may god bless you so much after you listen to me so the reason why your prayers sometimes are not being answered you go through everything and you try to find out why my prayer hasn't been answered you know yourself we are going to the next to the next video when i'm going to talk about the reason why your prayers are delayed amen i think this is